Gaps will shoot first. And it's going to be Kuznetsov, who's one for seven so far this season. And after a little burst, he's going to slow it right down. And try and wait him out and does. I don't seem like an all-star game, didn't it? And a little bit of razzle dazzle, twirl the stick, trying to just get Shalgren to maybe hesitate for a second. Good quick puck movement without any speed going in, and he's able to take it to the side and deliver it home. First up for the Leafs, the man that tied it, Jason Spezza. One for two in the shootout so far this year. And that's a beauty. Didn't waste any time, did he? When you've got the speed going like that, it's just the quick quickness of your hands taking it side to side. That's about a five foot diameter going across the crease and there's no way the goaltender with that kind of speed can get across and make the save. Nick Backstrom 0 for 3 this year. Second man for the Caps and he shot wide. By the way, Alexander Ovechkin used to hate this but was three for five this season and likely would have been shooting here tonight. So here's a different example of not much speed and Shalgren didn't have to overreact and was able to follow Backstrom all the way across and not give him anything. Let's see what Austin Matthews does. Two for three this year in the shootout. Looking for a leaf lead and off the post. That's two posts for him. In the last few minutes. Yeah, two posts that could have been the difference. He got the shot he wanted. Again, pulling it side to side, the quick release, making the play. And not sure whether Vanacek got maybe a little piece of that to deflect it off the post. Well, you know, this guy's dangerous. Two for three. And a goal tonight for T.J. Oshie. And Chagrin shuts the door. Well, how about that? Shuts the door and knocks the puck out of midair, too. And... You see the contrasting in styles, the speed of Spezza that just opens up the goaltender and back-to-back -back slower moves by the Caps that Shalgren, to his credit, did a great job on. The William Nylander can win it. One for three. Nylander in and lost the handle. And we'll have extra shooters tonight. Well, when you're coming down that offside, once you get reaching like that, it is very difficult to get the puck up. And his last second, he took a peek and couldn't keep control. Anthony Mantha's next. A goal on his only shootout attempt this year. And Mantha in and he shot wide. Not sure if Schalker got a piece of that. Well, how about Schalker? Yep. You know, just... The key thing is to not flinch first. Look at the little shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. Yeah, yeah, I do think he got a piece of that, and he stayed out aggressively to make the save. So no Mitch Marner yet. It's going to be Ilya Mikheyev, a goal and an assist, his first attempt of the year, and he is stopped. See, I would have loved to see what he's really done an effective job this year shorthanded. Coming down that wing with speed and much like Spencer, but on the other side, pull him across and just out quick him with the move instead of a slower one that Vanacek's able to make the save on. On to round five, and it's John Carlson. Vanacek out to challenge and stops Carlson. I well, said no Marner. Marner jumps out here with the opportunity to have the game on his stick. I, I just love the composure, though, of Schalger and the way he's been able to play these. And this is Marner's first shootout attempt of the year. Looking for a leaf win. Mitch Marner stopped by Vanacek. Yeah, Vanacek almost stared him down there a little bit, didn't he? He read that really well. Watch the shuttle back from his left to his right, just anchored that left skate and catapulted across, got the blocker in the way. Marcus Johansson playing in his 750th game tonight. One for one this year, looking to give the Caps the lead. And Shogren again, the terrific reaction stop. And how about the adjustment? He, he got beat here, watch, he reacted, but then he got up quickly. He went down, watch, down up 
and then slide across. That is a very impressive save. So can Pierre Engel be the hero here? Engvall in, and Manichek doesn't flinch. Lots of goaltenders turn to shine, isn't it? And both of them, look at how far out he is. He, he's not giving Engvall much. Might have been able to go five hole down low, but got it up a little high. Well, this might be a surprise, but it's not the first shot for Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Works his way in, and Chagrin stuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's going to be one of those nights, yep. is it? I mean, one, I two, three, four. Big Brother four. gave him that move. I know, I seven different stick handles in tight with no speed and kind of ran out of real estate. I go, go fake forehand back in. Go to the Harvard guy is what I say. Kerfoot scores, game winner. And the Leafs come back from two down late in the third period. And they're now a point away from clinching home ice in the opening round. You know, that, that shot before that Engball had, the five hole was there. It was open. He just missed it. And how about Kerfoot? A little bit more speed, a little bit more determination, and right between the legs to end this off. A seventh round shootout victory, and that Leaf fan is happy tonight.